excited today for the word that God has for you and for me, for us today. He's saying, daughter, son, do not be afraid of the lion or the bear that is in your path. Hmm, what is that lion? <laughs> or what is that bear? Today, God is saying to you, do not be afraid. My goodness, do not be afraid. And we go to the book of First Samuel chapter 17, um, verse 32 to 37. I'm not going to read all of it, but the verse that I want to pick out for us today is this verse. It is in verse 34. It says, when Saul asked David, you know, about fighting Goliath, David said, hallelujah, your servant has been keeping his father's sheep. When a lion and a bear <laughs> uh, came and carried off a sheep from their flock, David said, I went after it. And he said, I struck it and I rescued the sheep from its mouth. When it turned on me, <laughs> hallelujah, he said, when it turned on me, I seized it by the hair, struck it and kill it. In verse 36, he says, your servant has killed both a lion and a bear. This uncircumcised Philistine will be like one of them because he has defied the armies of the living God, the Lord. <laughs> Say the Lord, hallelujah. Oh my God, the Lord who rescued me from the paw of the lion, oh my God, and the paw of the bear will rescue me from the hand of the Philistine. And Saul said to David, go, the Lord is with you. <laughs> I can stop right there. <laughs> you see, David was not afraid of the lion or the bear. You see, when we are afraid of the situation that we're in, when we become so panicked, my goodness, that we're not willing to stand strong in the situation that we're in, we are not able to move, my God, from that situation to the next. It took the lion <laughs> and the bear. My God, David, when he was faced, my God, with life and debt, my God, David was faced with a lion and a bear. But he knew, my God, who was with him. And David was able to face that situation, not be afraid, but to kill them. And because David was able to kill them, because he knew the Lord was with him, what happened? It was a benchmark. Goliath was nothing for David. It was easy for David to go through the next challenge because he understood that when he's going through something, that God is always with him. And because God is with him, he will have victory. My God, it's a preparation for Goliath. You see, sometimes we don't want to go through. We're afraid of what we're of the situation that comes our way or, or the things that we're we're in. We're so afraid and we're we're so free. We, we forget that God is with us. But David knew that, and therefore he was able to kill Goliath. And you see, there is a trajectory there. David was able to kill the lion and the bear, kill Goliath, and guess what? The next level for him was the throne. You see, some of us want to reach, my God, that high point in God, but we don't want to go through anything. How are you? Got to be ready for the next victory that God has for you. If you are not willing, my God, <laughs> to know and to stand strong in what you're going through because you know that God is with you. My God, God is saying that you are afraid of the lion and the bear. But what you're in, you're so afraid. 
And because you're so afraid, you're not able, my God, to stand strong and to trust me in this situation. And because you're so crippled in this situation, you can't move to the next level. David had to trust God with the lion and the bear. And that's why he could fight Goliath and win over Goliath because he knew that God was going to take him through it. And God is saying, you can't reach the next level because you're not trusting me. You don't have any confidence in me that I can do it. And today he's saying it is a preparation. You have to, my God, stand strong in this situation. You have to trust me in this because he is preparing you for the next level. But until you graduate and not be afraid and trust him because he is with you, you're not going to get there. Do you want to get to the next level that God has for you? Do you want to celebrate the victory that God has for you? Stand strong in your faith, in what you're going through. Trust God. Know that he is with you. And no matter what the enemy is doing, my God, no matter what the situation is, God is with you. David knew that God was with him. And that's why he was able to kill the lion and the bear and kill Goliath. And my goodness, march his way to the throne that God promised him. God has a promise for you. But you are not willing to stand in your faith, stand in the confidence, stand in trust in God. And today is saying, daughter, son, trust me with what you're going through. Do not be afraid. I am with you. The same God that was with David is with you. And he's saying, you have to believe that. And when you believe that, when you trust me in that, you are going to move from victory to victory. Because as we grow in our faith, our trust, and our confidence in God, he's going to take us to higher and higher levels, deeper and deeper levels. And with every level that we go through, there is going to be a challenge. Are you up to the challenge that God has in store for you for the next victory that he has for you? Well, guess what? Today he's saying, don't be afraid of the lion or the bear because I am with you. And if you believe I am, you will come through victoriously and you will conquer. May God bless you this week. Have a wonderful week. And please do join me next week for a brand new video on the Encourage. I love you with the love of the Lord. God be with you this week as you go conquer and kill your lion, your bear, standing strong on the promises of God. God bless you.